All right. So we're trying to find the domain and the range of a function using a graph. All right. So first, let's talk about domain. Domain, in short, is, well, we talked about a couple of names that domain can be called. Domain is your input. Domain is your, uh, what? X. X. It's an independent variable, right? So domain is X. In a nutshell, what this does, what I'm going to be doing with domain, in order to determine the domain, I'm going to look at my graph, and I'm going to see how my graph functions on the X axis where it stops, where it continues. If it stops, right, I'm going to use interval notation, right, and I'm going to show you where it stops and where it continues looking at my particular graph. For instance, let's say this is my graph, and we're going to say this is negative 3. Right? Now, I'm only looking at domain right now. And let's say it's negative 3, I have an open circle that goes that way. Correct? Everybody see that? All right. So my domain, I want to identify my domain. My domain of this function would be, where does it actually start? Negative 3. But is negative 3 included? No, it is not. Why do I know that negative 3 is not included? Because the circle is open, right? So if I wrote this in interval notation, my domain would equal negative 3 to what? Positive infinity. All right? Pretty simple, right? All right? What would I do? If my circle was filled in, what would it be then? Bracket, right? It would be the bracket negative three to positive infinity. Now that's my domain. All right. So if domain, I said we're going to find the domain of each function. So I'm going to look at x, how it runs along the x-axis to determine what my domain is of any function if I'm looking at the graph. So if domain is x, what is range? What am I looking at then? Your y. I'm looking at how that graph functions on the y-axis, right? What is my highest value and my lowest value of my range, right? Range is also another way of saying which variable? The y, or your dependent variable, right? And also f of x. We'll see that later on, okay, for my range. So let's say, for instance, this particular graph right here was at 1, and this was at 2. This is three, so it's right on two. What would my range be? It would be two. All right? Does it go anywhere else? No. So how would I write that as a as an interval notation? Would you write it in infinity first? It doesn't go to infinity. What does it go to? Just two, right? It would just be two. It would just be 2, because it doesn't go anywhere else, does it? It stops at 2. It doesn't go anywhere else. So now we're going to look at a few as we put a graph up. All right. I think this is pretty easy. I do. You may not. So what would my domain be? So let's look at it. Where am I starting? I'm going to start. I'm always looking at x. Right? And from x, I'm going from left to right, if all possible. So this is negative 1, negative 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So how would I write my domain? Negative 8, parentheses, negative 8, 
Uh, Why would it be positive and finished? Because it's going to the positive side. Well, that is just going to the positive side. What do I see there that tells me that it's infinity? It doesn't stop. It doesn't stop, right? No matter, even if it's sloping down, it's going to continue to go, right? So on the x-axis, it's still going to increase value. This increases it slowly, but it's still going to increase value. All right, so that's my domain. So let's go with my range. So my range, where am I going with my range? Wherever the thing falls on the y-axis. Uh, look at it. It does the y-axis, but where? Positive 7 to negative 10. You say positive 7? Mm -hmm. To negative 10. So that's now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That is correct. It does go to positive 7, but how would I actually write that? So what goes first? Parentheses. No. Bracket. No. You're right in the in the in the, the values that you chose, but what goes first? Negative infinity. Negative infinity. But why? Because on the number line, what what always the, negative the negatives come before the positives, right? So my range would actually be negative infinity to what? Seven. Positive, positive seven. seven. Now in the bracket or parentheses? Parentheses. A bracket. a bracket on seven. Why is it a bracket? It only falls on the seven on the y-axis. So it could be seven. It's a bracket, but why is it a bracket? It it could be seven. Seven. It's going because it actually touches the seven. Okay. All right. It actually touches seven. So since it actually touches seven, seven is included. So that's why it's a bracket. All right. So on the y-axis, if I'm looking at the y-axis, the highest point is positive seven that it actually touches, right? And then it keeps, and you go down. This is going to continue to go downward, so therefore, even though it goes down slowly, it still goes down, so it still goes to negative infinity. You need to go? You need me? You yeah, had your hand up. Yeah. Oh, I was going to ask you a question, but I'm waiting until you finish. Okay. So does everybody see that? You got an understanding of that, how it works? A little bit. A little bit? All right. So let's look at another one. Look at this one. What's my domain? Like negative eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is it parentheses or bracket? Parentheses. Parentheses. I know you can't see it, but it's negative eight to what? Positive infinity. Positive infinity. So that's my domain. What's my range? No, it's not. One to positive infinity. It is one to positive infinity. How do you know that? Because you start with the lowest value. So the lowest value is one. And it works up. And it works its way up. So is it a positive one? I mean, it's a positive, say it's a positive one. Is it bracket or parentheses? Um, it's bracket because it's touching the one. Uh, no, it's wait, open. No, it's no. parentheses. Parentheses because it's open. Parentheses, one, positive infinity. All right. So, I'm going to give you a couple. We're going to try. 